all right. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. My name is Kelsey Maynor. I am the small business advocate for Invest Atlanta. I'm so excited for you the guys to join us tonight for our small business webinar series where we've been focusing on our small businesses and make sure we provide the resources and opportunities for you all to grow your businesses here in the city of Atlanta. Now, for some of you who don't know, Invest Atlanta is the economic development arm of the city of Atlanta. Yes, we are the economic development arm of the city of Atlanta. And it's so exciting to be here to be able to help our city grow in the three spaces of, of housing, uh, workforce development, and economic development in our small businesses. So I want to get us right started with our, uh, our program for tonight. We have an amazing opportunity to talk about a program that we've been able to develop since March of last year. Um, now, this program, if you haven't heard of ATL in Business, um, I want to make sure that we deep dive into it so that you are aware of the programs and services that we're offering, because everything that we're going to talk about this evening is at no cost to you as a city of Atlanta business. That's right. I said at no cost to you. So before we get started and I introduce our guest, I do want to get let you know some of the house rules that we have. Now, house rule number one is simple. Stay tuned, pay attention, watch to the end. We will have a Q&A session towards the end of this webinar. Uh, where we'll be answering your questions. Now, if you do have questions, no, this isn't an opportunity for you to raise your hand and interrupt. Uh, we have a Q&A uh, &A part where there's a, you can type your questions in. So if it's burning in your heart, type the question in and uh, we'll get to them towards the end of um, the webinar. Uh, but I will tell you this, that some of the questions that you have very well may be answered while we're going through this presentation. So just sit tight. But again, if you're the type of person that forgets the question that you're gonna ask, Go ahead and just type in the chat and we will be sure to get to that Q&A uh, and while we'll address all the questions that are in there. All right. So without further ado, I want to introduce Jeff Morris and Maya Jackson. Come on in here, guys. <laughs> good evening, folks. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are well. Have a good day. We're excited to be here to show you and explain and walk you through how you can engage in some of this great no cost consulting that Invest Atlanta has to offer. Hi everyone, pleasure to meet all of you. Super excited to be in the virtual room with you guys today. Today, And like Jeff said, we're excited to share this resource, make sure all of our businesses are thriving here in Atlanta. So happy to be here and can't wait to chat more. Great. Now, I want you guys to, I know you're on your laptops and your phones and things like that. So if you have an opportunity right now, go to ATL, inbusiness.com. If you're a note taker, write that that um that website down because this is what we're talking about all evening. atlinbusiness.com. And so I currently have the web page pulled up where we'll be discussing and going through live. Uh, we've had several conversations, when I say several, I mean hundreds of conversations with business owners throughout the city thus far. And we get some questions and some concerns and some worries and some some things about how do I access this? How do I navigate it? How do I find what I need? And so we've been uh, modifying and adjusting this website over the last year to make sure that it is clear and concise, but also it serves the needs of our small businesses. So what we wanna do is take a walkthrough of it. Um, Jeff, where are we going first? Let's talk about it. Let's go to start and grow a business. Right up here at the top. So this, this link would bring you to resources that will help you plan, start, grow, and manage your business. It gives you the ability to create a plan because if you don't have a plan, it's gonna to be tough for you to succeed. So creating a plan, writing the business plan, the things that you're gonna need within that business plan as far as permitting, choosing a location, are you gonna have your funds allocated to the business? You have to have some skin in the game when it comes to starting a business. And then who are you gonna be hiring to help you start that business? Most small businesses start with just the owner itself, but having a game plan written down that you can present to a potential lender is what you need to start at the beginning. From now, Jeff, I'm, no I'm noticing that you can actually click links and it even breaks down each section of that. So even the sections that we saw uh, where it says creating a business plan, plan a business, permitting, 
And when you click the link, it also takes you to a little more in depth about those individual sections, yeah? That's correct. I'll, pause. I'll cut you off. What are you about to say after that? No, if you want to go to start, When you start your business, you have to register with the state of Georgia. So making sure that you have the right documents in place to be official, because you need to pay your taxes, you need to apply for different programs. So you need to have all those special permits and licenses in place. This is a great resource to obtain the information that you need to get your business up and running the entity that you're gonna choose, the name that you're gonna use, and how you register with the state of Georgia. Again, another great launch pad for you to begin. Now, when we go to manage, if you've ever heard of the term working in your business versus working on your business, this is where that plays a huge role because determining your expenses, how you manage your inventory, if you have inventory, depending on the type of business you have, is very important because you have to make sure you keep these things organized. Because again, paying taxes, when you submit and turn in your taxes at the end of the year, having a good system in place is important because it allows you to be more efficient and effective when you're going to apply for a loan or if you get audited by the IRS. also gives you the ability to assess any kind of operational challenges you may have because you're seeing the numbers and making sure that you're managing the numbers on a day-to-day -day basis is very important because you don't want things to get too much out of control because if they do it may be too late to try to rectify them so making sure that you have those those uh, those daily touch points weekly touch points on your numbers you got to know your numbers Absolutely. So let's go to grow. How are you going to grow? It's different ways to grow. Marketing, social media, government contracts. It depends on what type of business and services you have to offer. But keying in on those few things that are going to help grow that bottom line is really, really important. And you can see from this link right here, we have resources to all the counties, most of the counties within the state to help you grow your business if you decide to use uh, government contracting as part of your game plan for growth. Now, Jeff, I, I, I do want to, I, I personally want to talk about finding a consultant, but I know that's your space. I know that's hey, your space. We could tag team but it. Listen, I, I feel so passionate about this because I speak about this every single day. Um, I was with the business just earlier this afternoon and, and I was telling them, I was like, hey, you know, we uh, need a new website and a new logo. And I was like, you know what's crazy? How much are they trying to charge you for that? I was like, well, I don't have the money to pay for it, but I need, a, I need to get a new one. I made this one on Canva and it, you know, it got us to where we are now, but I really just step it up. I was like, go to atlandbusiness.com, hit find a consultant, and guess what you'll find? Opportunities for you to work with businesses at no cost. And so when I, when I put it up on my phone and I showed them, they were like, what? And so I tried to get them to sign up. Hopefully they signed up, not only for this webinar tonight, but they signed up today after I left. But the ATL and business with finding a consultant, we have, we've been able to vet, and I say we, I really mean Jeff. Jeff was able to vet, as well as the Investland staff to vet organizations to help our businesses with various, um, needs that we've identified um, that at least call it technical assistance, but really it's business assistance, whatever you need. There you go, Jeff. <laughs> Early last year, we were tasked with an assignment to put out an RFP, request for proposal for technical assistance. Now, internally and in the business of economic development, we know technical assistance means 
helping businesses with the things that they need to help grow. But we put a little spin on that and we changed it to business consulting because as a business owner, you just need the guidance to help you achieve your goals. So we tasked out 11 different providers in different areas of business, social media, marketing, HR, payroll, legal, human resources, and we vetted them to become a part of this program. We also outsourced the, the building of this website that Kelsey is showing us. It's our CRM system, Customer Relationship Management Tool. And this tool is awesome because it allows both business owners within the city of Atlanta to come in, put in the information that they need, the assistance that they're looking for, and then choose a consultant. And on the consulting side, it allows the consultants to keep track of the activities that they are working with these business owners on. So let's say we're looking at Let's go to accounting and finance. Click on accounting and finance. You hit search and boom. These are the consultants that specialize in accounting and finance. You see you have, Amer you have Atlanta Black Chamber. You have Prospera. Who else is coming up? RevB is coming up. Latin America Chamber of Commerce. And anybody else come up? Uh, you have G-Man and also Operation Hope, all great organizations within the city of Atlanta that have been helping businesses for a very long time. So any of these can help you. And it's, it's like a dating platform. You go here, you figure out who you like, you give them a call, they call you back, and you talk. And if you have a good vibe with them, you start doing business with them. So let's go to RevB, for example. So how would you engage with RevB? You click on their link. It'll give you some information about the company. And then you fill out what we call an intake form. That intake form will give RevB an idea of what you are seeking to accomplish regarding this transaction or this engagement, if you will. Your name, your address, it verifies that you're located within the city of Atlanta. Enter your phone number so you can have the conversation, location, type of services and products that you provide, a brief description of what you're looking to accomplish and the industry that you're in, the structure of your business, how many employees do you have, if you're minority owned or not, and any certifications. We talked about uh, being certified with the state, and this is where it's gonna ask you those questions. Some of your sales numbers and your EIN. So again, this is also a screening process because if you don't have this information yet, you're probably not ready for this program. This program is for businesses that are just getting started, up and running, or just need that extra help, right? Ask a little bit more information about yourself. And these are for our demographics. We have an incredible data team that puts all of this information together and they display it on our website. And it just shows how many people we're helping, the type of person we're helping, the type of business they run and the area of the city where they're located. So once you, once you submit this, you fill this information out, you go down and you put that you are not a robot because we don't accept robots. We don't work with robots. It'll go to RevB. They'll receive it and they will contact you between 24 and 48 hours. And then they'll set up that initial conversation with you to determine if they're a good fit. Because sometimes it's not a good fit. And you want to work with someone who understands your needs, who definitely can assist you, but you also have to have that chemistry as well. And that this is the opportunity to establish that. Some Absolutely. Of the, some of the things that you need to 
apply for this program is you need a business license. If you want to go up, Kelsey, go down. No, go up. Yep. You need yep. to have a business license in place. So we know that you're legal, ready to go, paid for 2023 business license. And we're going to ask you to sign a hardship affidavit. This affidavit goes on file stating that you suffered some kind of financial hardship during COVID or COVID caused you to suffer some financial hardship. Another document that we are going to require that you have is a document that lets us know that you have less than 250 employees. That could be your 941, or that could be a document that we can provide you that just states, I did not have more than 250 employees in XYZ year. And then it's going to ask you to sign the letter of agreement. And the agreement is an agreement between you and the business consultant. That is stating that you asked them to do X, Y, Z, and they're providing X, Y, Z to you. And it just keeps everything compliant because we have to report to the U.S. Treasury. And if they audit us, we want to have our ducks in a room so we stay in compliance with them. So it's a great program. It's very intuitive. It's easy to use. And it helps both the business consultant and the business owner achieve their goals. So once you submit that and you schedule a time to talk to the business consultant, they will reach out. They'll have a conversation. If you guys are ready to go, then you engage in whatever services you need to uh, get some assistance with. You want to go to the top, Kelsey? Did I miss anything? No, I think that was it. I think I think that was it. I, I definitely wanted to show that the application. It, I mean, well, that's taking the application, but those questions are the same for each um, each consultant. organization consultant. Right. So, you know, again, like we said, if you have a one on one with RefB, and you when you fill out the information, y'all have that one on one 15 minute call to be like, hey, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm, I'm trying to get help with. They can be, they'll be able to say, you know what, I think. We can do that, or maybe you just go both decide. Uh, maybe this isn't what we both can do. Um, that's a good opportunity for us to 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 then go back here and try it again. That's not a because ref we didn't work. I'm finished. You can always go back right. in here and you're like, you know what? Let me try Gmin instead. Let me try the Latin Chamber of Commerce instead and see um, if they'll be able to assist. Or maybe you know they their resources are a little more what I'm looking for. But again, this is we, we these resources are here for you to grow and organize your business. Um, I'm always telling people, listen, the, the one of the biggest things that we run into when dealing with our small businesses is, I don't know about you, but I'm the creative type. I'm, I, I'm creative, but I'm not the best at note taking or documentation. So when it comes down to um, your finances, are you documenting your cash flow? Uh, when we're applying for our loans and, and different grant programs, when you're applying for funding, they're gonna ask you for, certain items. So what I always recommend people to do is go and try to apply for one of our business loans. And as you're going through the loan application, any area that you get stuck on, like they ask you for your business plan, you're like, oh man, I don't really have a detailed business plan. We'll come back in here and you can actually go to a section and, and try to find uh, somebody to help with your business plan. I do believe that's one of the options um, in here somewhere. You know, did I pass it? Business yeah. planning, right? You type business plan, you hit search, and Latin Chamber of Commerce comes up, Prospera comes up, um, Operation Hope, Black Chamber of Commerce. You select one of those, you apply and say, hey, I was applying for a, a loan, and they asked me for a detailed business plan. I don't have one. And that's what, what you guys can focus on. If, if you get to a part and it's like, I need a profit and loss statement, and you don't have a profit and loss statement, don't, don't, don't stress out. You know, all right, go to atlmbusiness.com, type in uh, accounting and finance and bookkeeping and hit search and connect with one of the organizations that can help you with your bookkeeping. They can go through your cash app and your PayPal and your QuickBooks or whatever, the Square, whatever you use to document your, your payments and your business uh, finances. 
And then they'll help you put together a spreadsheet, help you put it together and organize it, not just for that time being, but kind of a structure that will allow you to move forward by documenting the, the information that you need to be fundable. Um, so this is a great resource. And I'm, I'm always telling people, go here to check it out. One caveat and, I would like to add, Kelsey, <clears throat> is that mm -hmm. you can work with as many business consultants that, as you wish, but we'd like for you to finish your project with one business consultant before you move on to another business consultant because we don't want you to be working with all the consultants at one time. Do what you need to do at one. Once that assignment is complete, boom, move on to the next one. You talked about the application process regarding loans or grants. Do you wanna click on application assistance? We have some incredible resources available to small businesses where you can take advantage of obtaining a loan and or a grant for your business. Now, there are some requirements that you would have to meet. But again, as Kelsey stated, help we at the ATL and Business uh, website, we can help you get those things organized first. But if you click on apply for support here, you'll be taken to a platform where you'll be asked to put in some information, pretty similar to what you had to do on the ATL and business site. And then one of our technical assistant providers who specialize in the Open for Business, the Wells Fargo Open for Business program, will help you with either the loan or the grant application. These folks are specifically trained to help you get application ready because that is the main goal. You want to be clean and presentable when you apply for a loan or a grant because you really only have one chance to make a really good first impression. I know that has been said a lot of times in many different aspects of life, but when it comes to asking for funds and resources, you want to be clean on paper. And you also have to have your personal financial life in order because the, the financial institution, they're looking at how you handle your personal finances because that's going to play a big in, important role in how you handle your business finances. So again, similar to the information that we asked for on the ATL and business side, you key it in, it'll be sent to one of our providers They'll reach out to you between 24 and 48 hours. You guys have a conversation and then you start working on whatever you're trying to accomplish from there. Now, this is amazing because if you think about some of the, uh, the difficulties that we have as business owners, it, it's, it's applying for things like, oh man, yes, I, I see the opportunity. But I'm, I'm not sure what, what that documentation is. I just had a meeting. I had a lot of meetings today. But today, they were saying, I'm applying for this, um, for this certification. And I, I don't know what documents I'm supposed to submit, what I should have, what I shouldn't have. What are they asking? What does this document really mean? What are they asking for? And so this is an opportunity when you're applying for, for a loan or a grant. And it, Jeff, real, real Correct me if I'm wrong. Is this just an invest Atlanta loan or grant, or is this a loan or grant period? Uh, it's an invest Atlanta loan or grant through the Open for Business Fund, right? But we also can assist with other loans that you apply for through Invest Atlanta, because we have a different division that has anywhere between, I think, 12 or so different types of loans that you can apply for. And if you want to apply for one of those, going through this program will also help you prepare your application for the different financial institutions. All right. So as you're trying to apply for funding with Invest Atlanta, um, this, this here, they, the, the people that are working on this are able to help you and walk you through the application process, review your documents, make sure they're submitted, 
the things are correct. Because sometimes you need an extra eye on it that that knows what they're doing. But more importantly, these this is the opportunity for you to really get a sound application put in. Um, I've been talking to our small business loans team since we released this program. And they've been like, man, I can tell night and day between the applicant who did it on their own and the applicant that came through this um, this no cost assistance. So right. this is here again, no cost to you. So this is an opportunity for you to apply for things and feel confident about what you submitted because you work with the consultant while you're doing it and it didn't cost you any money. Right. And the resources are here for you. You're a city of Atlanta business owner. We want to support you. We want to help you grow because everybody benefits once you're successful. The city, Invest Atlanta, you, your customers, take advantage of it and spread the word. Let people know. Because if we help you and we do right by you, we would like you to spread the word to your friends, to your other business owners that you know, because that's the only way we're going to really get on the map. Absolutely. And now I just want to remind you all that the information that we're talking about is all housed on one website. It's atlnbusiness.com. When you go to this website, again, we went over so far starting and growing your business. And, and when you click here, there are resources to help you kind of guide you. A lot of times we call and say, man, I want to start a new business, but I'm not sure how to start a business, what steps I need to take to start a business. I don't want to miss anything. So as you're going to here, just stop here, look through the information, click some of the links and get familiar with what the process is for starting a business. And for people who have started a business and need some assistance, whether that's marketing, uh, financial, as far as getting your, getting your books in order, um, you know, things like that, website design, logo design, social media posts, and even social media calendars say, hey, I want to start, make sure I'm marketing my business. How do I put a marketing plan together? You can go through the find a consultant and get you a consultant that can help you with that. We just covered application assistance, which helps you with applying for funding. So that you can see how we're growing through as a business as well. You're starting off as a business, you're getting help to grow your business. And then when you're ready to apply for funding, we have an opportunity for you to get application assistance for funding. And now we're going to talk about this marketplace with Maya. Awesome. So once you go through Jeff and you go through Kelsey and you know you get your business funded, you're starting to get more and more resources, you have your legal structure set up, you're doing successful in marketing. Now we want to help you get even more business. So that's where ATL and business marketplace comes into play. The mayor really charged us with making sure that suppliers and buyers were being able to be connected like never before. So as we know with COVID, traditional networking and traditional events and supplier and buyer events, they've kind of been halted and we've had to result to technology and the online world to get connected. So in the case of social media, that's pretty easy, but for businesses looking to get government contracts, and they're looking for different procurement opportunities that might be a little bit harder. So that's where ATL and Business Marketplace comes into play. So it is a completely free and online marketplace designed for suppliers and buyers to connect. So Kelsey, if you want to click Get Started. So if you are a supplier or of a good or service, or if you're a corporate buyer or a buyer, someone who purchases goods or services or puts out RFPs, then this website is for you. It's meant to ease the process between connecting with buyers that traditionally wouldn't see you. So we have some people like the Atlanta Wealth Building Initiative, the Center for Civic Innovation, HMS Host, one of the largest um, Atlanta concessioners in here. So when they are looking for buyers, what they would do is log into the system, search, hey, I'm looking for a restaurant. I'm looking for a Black-owned restaurant. I'm looking for a LGBTQ um, laundry cleaner. You can really get specific in your query and find exactly what you're looking for. So we know today a lot of companies have diversity quotas. And Kelsey, if you'll click business to business for me. Perfect. We have a lot of companies who are looking to meet diversity quotas and they need um, to hire from these disadvantaged communities who have certifications. You can do all of that in here. So Kelsey is showing us perfectly how it'll work. You wanna put in all of your information. The more information you have in here, the easier it is for other businesses to find you. 
So he's the boss. Put your position, create a password, and then let us know whether you are a supplier or a buyer. So if you have a MARTA certification, you're certified as a woman-owned business, certified as a um, veteran-owned business, anything like that, put all of that in here. It'll also ask you some questions about your revenue. It'll ask you... It'll ask you some questions about how many employees you have, how many contracts you anticipate having. That'll all be in the system. And once you get in the system, it's really cool because we even have companies that are posting opportunities in here. So recently we had the city of Atlanta post an opportunity in here. They're looking for a programmer for their parks and rec department. So they're looking for people who do yoga or offer massages to present programming for um, their seniors, 62 and up and over the summer. So say you're in that field and you've been looking for an opportunity, it's good to get in the habit of logging onto this portal every day, seeing who's in there, seeing what other suppliers are in there and seeing what buyers you can connect with and reach out to. So we'll go ahead and say we're a supplier, Kelsey. Yep. And lastly, it'll kind of now network is the software programmer uh, that's helping us run this program. And let's just say we want to discover new contract opportunities. So we're not really familiar with all the different contracts in Atlanta and all the players. You would select that option. And then our goal is $50. Let's just say we want a contract from 50K to 100K. So this does not replace the different governments and different businesses, this does not replace their procurement portal. So if you are a supplier, you're probably already familiar with the city of Atlanta. They have atlsuppliers.com. This does not replace that. They still use that. You still have to sign up there to um, get access to their RFPs. This is really a connection resource. So it's helping you get connected to people you probably wouldn't know otherwise. It's helping expose you to businesses who otherwise might not be able to see you. So we can click continue, Kelsey. So we're not gonna make Kelsey fill this out right now, but what I wanna do is go to, let's just go all the way down. Let's start from community on the left-hand side and work our way down. You can click whichever one you want, Kelsey. Let's start with community. So this just gives you a little bit about what's going on in the neighborhood. So it lets you know about some upcoming events we have here at Invest Atlanta, resources we've done previously. So a couple of us spoke at doing business with the city of Atlanta. So you can actually access that video there. So if you continue to check back, you'll see some updates about events and resources that we have. And then Kelsey, you can go to the dashboard. Yep, and so here's where you'll be able to see an overview of some of the buyers and the suppliers in the network. So Kelsey, under suppliers, if you want to click view all on the right. Sure, so we can go this way. So this is, um, this is kind of where you can search for the specific suppliers that you want. So if you click the plus next to industry information, you can, what's a good keyword you think, Kelsey? Um, restaurant, food industry, janitor. Let's see what we get. And then at the bottom, we'll click the search button. Yep. I don't know if the search went through, but this is just showing us all of the suppliers that we have in the system. So it shows you their year that they were founded. It shows you the revenue that they make, how many employees that they have, um, and just a brief description of what they do. So this is a good way to see other businesses who are in your area, what their general revenue is, what their business model looks like. And then once you click the business, you can see um, more information about them. So this system really works with as much work as you put into it. So if you go in and fill out all of your information, that better the chances of you being 
found by a company. So I encourage you all when you do sign up, which is again, this is free. This is for whether you're in the city of Atlanta or not. But once you sign up, it helps you get a better chance of being found because you have your certifications, your awards, your honors, all of that in there. So Kelsey, on the left-hand side, let's go to opportunities. <clears throat> so these are some opportunities that have been posted by the city of Atlanta here. If you are, if you qualify for any of these, please apply. So these are things that they're looking for. And if you're in the system, you get an exclusive look at. So you can get connected and directly message the city of Atlanta on here. So if you're a business and you're looking on here now and you see any of these things that your company could possibly fill, this is a great way to get that first look. And the city of Atlanta is coming to this website trying to get outside of their regular pool. So they have traditional vendors, but they're trying to see people that they normally wouldn't see. So buyers are putting their opportunities in and using the website so they can uh, connect, really be intentional about, intentional about connecting with diverse suppliers. And then lastly, Kelsey, let's hit my company. And let's see what some of the information you're asking you all for is. So you're founded, your address, of course, your phone number, your average contract, your average invoice, how big is your team? And then we get a little bit more into the nitty gritty. So if we scroll down, we start asking for things like, what's your next code? What's your legal structure? How are you incorporated? These are things that different buyers are looking for. And we want to make sure they have all the information so they can make an informed decision. Give us a general overview of your business. What's the website? In case we want to follow up and see if we can have some more information about you. What are a few keywords? So you see how we were able to search earlier. You really want to pick keywords that like come to mind when people think of your business. So what are the top things that your company does summed up into three short words? And then your diversity classification. I know a lot of our businesses get certified. Put those certifications in there. This is a time to brag on yourself not be humble, but really just say, this is what I've done. This is all that I've achieved as a, a company or as a business owner, as an entrepreneur. And show that to the world so these buyers can see that. And then we do go pretty into depth. So the certifications, insurance and bonding, all things that are important when businesses are going into contract with you. But just like ATL and business, this resource is completely free. I think of it almost as like a dating app or a social media profile. Get on this every day. Check, you know, who's checking me out? Who can I see? You're able to see the buyers in the system. Who can I reach out to today? Make it a habit of getting on, um, keeping your information updated, checking for opportunities, and then making that connection, which we hope would lead to an eventual profit. So we'll be sure to drop the link in the chat. Um, it is on the main ATL and business page, but that's it for me, Kelsey. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the ATL and business.com website. Um, we do have some questions in the, uh, in the Q&A right now, but I want to say thank you, Jeff and Maya. Don't go anywhere, but thank you for, for telling us about this amazing resource that we have for our city of Atlanta businesses. Um, I, for one, I, I tell you, I use it every day. I'm always referencing, referencing it to businesses. Um, and so, so far it's been a great resource for a lot of people all the way through. So let's go into this Q and A and see, I want to stop sharing my screen. Now I'm gonna leave it up there because people might have questions. So let's see what's going on. Any, uh, 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 uh. so any upcoming grants, um, currently the only grant that we do have, um, not, grant that's not doing with ATL and business, but the grant we do have is the commercial property improvement grant which is um, focused on um, helping some of our businesses that have commercial property um, fix up some areas, both inside and outside um, with a grant. And you can go to our investment website and type in commercial property improvement grant. If you're in search for that, uh, I wanna stop sharing my screen. Let's see, stop, 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 stop. Who? stop, there we go, perfect. Uh, let's go to another question. Have I, I have already registered my business. Wonderful. For what? Are you saying that you registered for the 
ATL in business or you registered it with the city or the state? If you clarify, we'll keep on answering these questions. Um, I've had a 2022 business license within Atlanta zip code. However, recently moved myself from my business to a Union City zip code. Can I still do business with Invest Atlanta? If not, are there any plans to expand Invest Atlanta's reach to companies in the Metro Atlanta area? Okay, that's for me. Uh, so <laughs> this <laughs> um, Invest Atlanta is the economic development arm of the city of Atlanta. Um, the mayor sits at the head of our board. We are part of the city of Atlanta's uh, quasi-government entity. So we're not, our funding is used from tax dollar allocations from the city. So we could not use these funding to help other businesses in other cities. So if you're in Union City, the good thing is you can go to Union City's economic development page and look up to see what resources they have in that city. Um, but when you do plan to come back to the city of Atlanta, we would love to help you. That doesn't mean you can't still do business in the city of Atlanta or with city of Atlanta businesses. But as far as the resources, they are reserved for city of Atlanta businesses. Do these resources only apply to brick and mortar businesses? What about online only or services, rental based businesses? I'm not going to answer all these questions. Uh, Jeff, what do you think about that? Are we these resources can... just for brick and mortar? No, we can help in-home businesses or home-based businesses with the programs for ATL and business and for the open for business side. But it depends on the type of business and the business structure. So just reach out to us and I'll put my contact information in the chat. If you have any questions regarding ATL and business, send me an email. We'll schedule a time to talk on the phone and just try, try to figure out how we can best serve you. Because if we're not a good fit, we have resources throughout the city that will that can assist you in accomplishing your goals. So just let us know what we can do to help. If we don't know, we'll connect you with someone who does. I remember what I was supposed to say at the beginning. This webinar has been recorded, it is being recorded, and it will be uploaded both on, uh, we will send a Zoom link out to everybody that's attended thus far and registered, but it'll also be housed on Facebook, and eventually you'll be able to find it on atlnbusiness.com under resources. So be on the lookout for that. Just information will be in the email that we send out after this meeting. So next question, it says, uh, are we allowed to conduct multiple consultants on that page, or can we contact multiple consultants? You can contact multiple to just find out which one you work with or you choose or you would like to work with, but you can only work with one at a time. So do your project. Once you're finished with them, then you can move on to another consultant. They said, we have been in business for 13 years in the city of Atlanta. We've had our ups and downs. Do we qualify for a marketing consultant? Yes, 13 years, 13 weeks, you just reach out and we'll be able to assist you. They're, they're asking, can we use one consultant for one thing, then another consultant for another thing, if one can necessarily provide everything, sort of like taking fruit from different trees? Yes, that's, that is really the essence of the program, is to be able to work with people that can assist you in different aspects of your business, because not every business is the same. Not every business is going to have the same types of needs. So yes, you can work with multiple business owners, uh, business consultants, but again, project at a time. They say, what opportunities, what opportunities are there to financially support hiring staff? What, what do they mean by that? We, you know, question. I, I Stephanie, think, if you can, if you can elaborate a little more on what you mean by uh, opportunities financially to support hiring staff, we will we'll try to answer that question for you. But I can kind of go a little deeper on just staffing as a whole. As a business owner, we all know how tough it is to hire people, especially to hire good people. So you have to offer them things that they're not going to get 
at different opportunities or employers. And I know that's not easy when you're starting a business because it's just you, usually all your funds, you're bootstrapping it. But that's one of the challenges with starting a business. And you have to find someone who's going to believe in you and believe in your idea that's going to go on this ride for you. But you got to take care of them. and They have to see that you're going to take care of them. So it's a it's it's a tough thing because if you're not making the, the revenues to pay somebody, barely paying yourself, sometimes you don't even pay yourself, but you just have to figure those things out. Marketing can help you grow your dollar amounts and, you know, just these different consulting sessions can figure different game plans out for you. Can nonprofits leverage all these resources just the same? We do work with nonprofits. There's a there's a link in the application where if you're a nonprofit, you have to submit that you're in good standings and we can assist nonprofits as well. They're asking, are there any limitations on what kind of businesses? Like I rent out uh, pyrotechnics for events and entertainment. Sometimes I have trouble with marketing and other business support. Um, that's his, his question. Are there limitations of what kind of businesses that we support with these resources? If it's a legal business and you have <laughs> and you have your licenses with the city of Atlanta, legal, I don't even want to say ethical because that's up to a different person that's going to determine that. But if it's a legal entity within the city limits of Atlanta, we can definitely assist. All right. It seems that that is, nope, let's see. Are there any more questions out there that we haven't answered? Um, again, I think we've covered the atlnbusiness.com website it is a resource for all city of Atlanta business owners. Um, if you have a city of Atlanta business license, you are eligible to, to utilize all the resources that we share with you all this afternoon from st um, planning, starting, growing, and managing your business to uh, find a consultant to help you with specific uh, parts of your business, whether that's marketing, finance, even legal. We'll discuss some of that next month with, as I'm rolling into uh, next month's programs, uh, we'll cover some legal options for you to, to review as well with our consultants. Um, then we have assistance for your application when you're trying to apply for a, a grant or a loan. Uh, we wanna make sure that you're submitting a quality application and that you feel confident and comfortable and what you're submitting and what you're putting down and that you understand what, what your business is doing. But then as Maya shared, we have the, uh, uh, the marketplace where you can uh, connect business to business, business to consumer with your products and they can be seen and you can get contracts with the government as well as other organizations that are looking. So you'd be amazed. You know, you never know. There's, uh, I, I saw something, uh, man, what was that last month that Atlanta Public Schools had an RFP out and they were looking for businesses that had transportation, I think going into their summer school programs, but they were looking for people who had transport shuttles and transportation they, they, and it was on here and it was available. So those kind of things are popping up and, and one, many times we don't get to see them, but on the marketplace, we're trying to make sure that we have a unique group of people that are able to access these opportunities here in the city of Atlanta. So um, I wanna make sure that you are taking advantage of atlnbusiness.com. This website is made for you and again, is every time we hear uh, uh, a pain point or something that needs to be tweaked, I was like, oh, I, I wanted to say this. I, I need more information about that. We're very in tune with how, um, how we're engaging with this website and make sure that we're providing the best resources in the clearest fashion so that our small businesses can achieve, grow, and thrive here in the city of Atlanta. Now, before we go, I got some announcements. Um, today has been a great day. Um, and next Thursday will be even a better Thursday uh, because we have our business networking mixer at the Mary Parker Foundation at 2800 Hamilton Road Southwest. This networking mixer, if you haven't been to our networking mixers in the past, we've had some amazing ones at Pittsburgh Yards at the Russell Center as we're uh, introducing people to our 
neighborhood resource centers, our hubs throughout the city. Uh, we'll be at Mary Parker Foundation next Thursday, April 27th from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. where we'll be talking about our creative industries. We have invited our creative industry uh, groups to be out there and we'll be really uh, taking the time to know each other, meet each other and share resources. This is a great time. There's so much energy in this space. Um, it's really exciting. Uh, not only that, next month we have some webinars as well and so i always encourage you to go to investatlanta.com scroll to the bottom where it says events and make sure that you're um rsvping for these events that we have these webinars and these in-person mixers and even things that we have going on with housing as well and not a lot of our business owners just because you have a business in the city of atlanta sometimes you want to live in the city of atlanta so we have resources for people trying to buy houses with down payment assistance and things like that as well so make sure you stay in tune sign up for our newsletters Pay attention to what we have going on. But I want to say thank you for tuning in this evening. Um, and we hope to see you at our next event next Thursday and our webinars to come. If you need anything, again, this was recorded. It will be sent out to you. And the information for myself, Jeff, and Maya will be in that email as well for you guys to reach out to us with any more questions. So we appreciate your time. Thank you, Jeff and Maya, for, for helping us understand this ATL and business website. Um, Y'all guys have a great night. Night, everybody.